Hello, Gamer Nom is back. In this video, guys, finally, we are going to help this noob, level 1, Mammoth Truth user, reach max level. But before starting, you can show your support by using Star Code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Just a disclaimer, guys, every time you use my Star Code, I get paid. Okay, guys, so finally, we're doing this. Are you ready to reach max level with this fruit? We're gonna start with the first skill, Ancient Cutter. So, guys, first tip make sure that there is a safety net at the back or a wall that will catch the enemies because again this fruit has knockback okay so guys we just reached level 5 here with just one bandit quest and we're gonna add 6 stats on the blocks fruit and melee why gamer now because we're gonna use our favorite strat in the first C this is not yet patched which is really good thank you developers there you go fountain city and we're gonna defeat the gallip pirate using yes left clicks at first and your Z skill. Guys, make sure to use your Z skill to kill this mob in order to get lots of mastery on your blocks fruit, okay? As you can see, guys, everything you use your Z skill, it has a knockback, okay? So make sure to dodge to the side. Just, just walk slightly to the side to dodge your enemy's air slash, okay? That's really important because this mob will one-hit you. Again, guys, Z skill. Check that out. Boom. Okay, lots of masteries. So we're gonna keep on doing this until level 60. Good thing we will be unlocking our new skill here, the X skill, the true prehistoric punt. This skill will launch you forward, damage your enemy, and will try to knock your enemy up. So again, for the ancient cutter push, this one will try to knock your enemy up. Also, guys, did you notice that we skipped the jungle and the pirate village? Okay, so we're gonna reach level 60 here. Okay, oops, dodge, and that's it. Okay, so at level 60, let's check our stats again. There you go, 20 melee, 20 defense, blast fruits, 140. So guys, what's next? Next island is the desert. So guys, check it out, new set of boats, I mean new visuals, but I think they're slower now. Comment it in the comment section. So in the desert, our first target is the desert bandits. Again, you really need to find a wall so that you won't be having a hard time luring them again. Or you don't hit to lure them. So for the first enemy, the Desert Bandits, we're gonna grind here until level 75. Next up, Desert Officers. It's kind of far away, so yeah, make sure to uh, increase your patience because this fruit is kind of slow. But it gets faster, okay? So again, make sure to hit it on a wall every time you use your X skill. Uh, I mean Z skill. There you go. Okay, avoid the water. <laughs> Anyways, guys, our goal here is 90, okay? So 90, we're gonna leave Desert. Let's show our stats, 30 melee, 30 defense, blocks fruits, 210. Level 90, we're going to make our entrance at the Frozen Village. There's a cave here wherein you can buy lots of stuff. There you go. So we can buy the air jump, the aura, and the flash step. But we only have like uh, less than 130,000, so we cannot buy the flash step. Don't worry, our goal is to buy that after, before we leave this area. So guys, we're gonna defeat Snow Bandits now again. Check it out. A wall up the back. There you go. Easy. Okay. Oh, guys, check it out. Ice Admiral. Because of the X skill, we were able to like uh, launch this one up. <laughs> I don't know why. It's a glitch. See that, guys? You, you cannot attack this one. You cannot damage it. So guys, uh, yeah, you cannot do anything about it. So at 105, our next target is the Yeti. We're gonna start doing server hop with this boss now. There you go. So guys, uh, just use your skills and dodge, dodge, dodge because we have low HP. So this one can one hit us. If you don't believe it, there you go. Actually, uh, three hits, yeah, with one skill. Anyways, continue grinding here until level 130. But yeah, at 120, you can start defeating the chief petty officers. Oh, few skill guys, Colossal Crusher. So guys, notice that prehistoric punt will launch you upward this one downward but you will still bounce see that guys you will still bounce for a little bit anyways that's it 130 we're done with three skills here are the stats 40 mil defense 313 blast fruit guys don't forget to buy the flash step okay 100,000 bellies and next area is the marine fortress so guys you're gonna buy the dark or black cape here it's cheap, 50 or 60,000, and go straight to the Vice Admiral. Again, we've already unlocked three skills. One skill to go before we transform. Okay, so I'm really excited for that. So make sure to watch this video until second C, because that's the time that we will be unlocking the transformation. So let's make this thing fast. Guys, do server up here, okay? 
until 220 that is the fastest way here are the stats melee defense 100 blocks first 460 next stop is the prison so same guys you're gonna defeat three bosses here the warden this one you can do wall strat on all of the bosses here but guys don't waste your uh what do you call this your fruit here this one's really good defeat them face to face you're gonna unlock the stampede here there you go guys boom okay now with four skills everything will be easier we're gonna grind here until le level 350 again do server up with all three bosses here are the stats also guys you can grind lots of money here 175 melee defense blocks with 700 next up magma village here we're gonna do server up again yes the boss here is magma admiral so guys this one has high damage no wall strat here so make sure to dodge to the side every time you finish attacking him you don't want to get burst here there you go dodge okay, there you go very easy to dodge and that's it again server hop until 425 okay so as you can see guys in the first C we're gonna do lots of server hopping but guys in the second C sadly you can't do that much so guys melee defense 200 blocks fruits 878 next up guys whirlpool and under it is the underwater city there's a boss here again <laughs> so let's just call the first C server hopping bossing uh, C whatever guys anyway there you go guys there's a fishman lord here what we can do here is do wall strat or again face to face i mean face to face <laughs> shout out to all kids who started doing face to face classes again anyways uh, some info regarding this boss this boss has two uh sets of hp but if you have really high damage like for example you're helping someone you can burst the first set of hp here yeah i'm telling you guys i've tried that but again, you can only do it when you're like 2,000 plus damage. Anyways, you can also do wall strat here if you're really lazy, dodging. There you go. So all in all, it's easy to grind here. Just uh, do server hop again. Okay, gamer now. You, you like doing server hop and fountain strat. Now guys, at level 500, here are the stats. Melee defense, 225. Blocks fruits, 1,050. Next island is the Skylands Upper Sky, guys. So we, we skip the whole Skylands lower grounds also guys we cannot use our stone strat here why because again the skill of this fruit will either knock you back or launch your enemy upwards downwards which will give his cannon a chance to attack you so guys defeat him face to face oh check that out guys i don't know why this character is here see that he has eclo and he has mammoth fruit oh i don't know guys plus kabucha <laughs> Anyways, again, server hop whisper. <laughs> That's it. Don't worry, guys. After this, we won't be server hopping anymore. Oh, not that much. Yeah, not that much. So, guys, gold here is level uh, 625. Because we just want to unlock. Anyways, unlock observation hockey before leaving this area. Here are the stats. 250 mil defense. 1,375 blocks fruits. There you go. Observation hockey or instinct. To avoid copyright, right? <laughs> Next up, Fountain City. So guys, we started, we almost started with Gallic Pirate, and we're gonna end it here. We're gonna skip Cyborg, Gallic Captains, why? The Captains is so far apart. Cyborg, it's too tanky for us. It take much time for us just to defeat one. So guys, this is the easiest. Why? Check this out. Once you lure four, you can use your X skill. It will launch the enemy upwards. There you go. Guys, make sure to have a wall if you're gonna use Z skill, okay? You don't wanna like push them really far. There you go, that's it. I use my quick tackle Z skill to push them out of this uh, mini wall. There you go, and that's it. See that? Z skill. Okay, lure them again. Z skill is next. Okay, there you go. And you can defeat them with your F or your X skill. Okay? Anyway, guys, I know that you know this one. It's really hard to grind the first two sets of mobs. In the second C, the mercenary and the, I don't know, the first one, I never really grind that mob because they're so far away, the quest giver is far away, and then guys, we're using mammoth, so this is not like a light fruit that will grind really or fly fast. So we're gonna stay here until 775. I hope that's clear. Guys, this is the fastest way. Okay, so for the stats, melee defense, 300, blocks fruits, all the stats. Don't forget to defeat the ice admiral. <laughs> Actually, you cannot go to the second C without this one finish the detective and now guys welcome to the second C so guys 775 at the second C first target 
Oh, by the way, there's the badge. We're gonna defeat the Swan Pirates. So guys, in this sea, in this very mob, we're gonna unlock our V skill. Yes, finally, transformation at mastery. 300. There you go. There's a damage every time you transform. Now I'm gonna show you all the skills. There you go. There's also damage with the impact when you jump. So this is the Z skill, Ancient Cutter. There you go, guys. Now it has two sets of cutters. So which means the higher damage, right? Next up, X skill. True Prehistoric Punt. There you go. Not bad. C skill. I'm gonna show it to you. The Colossal Crusher. Guys, same mechanics. Uh, Colossal Crusher will crush your enemy downwards. Prehistoric Punt will try to launch your enemy upwards, okay? There you go. This is the Stampede, by the way. F skill. Just hold it and you will be damaging your enemy. This is unlimited. As long as you hold it, but you might get damaged. There you go. There's an impact on the jump. Anyways, we've reached 925 here. We're gonna check our stats and move on to our next target. Okay, so here are our stats 350 mil defense, blocks for 2075. Next up, guys, green zone. Okay, so in this island, our target is Fajita. So, guys, check this out. We're gonna use our F skill, right? Okay, we've turned on our observation hockey. Check the damage continues 12,000, 30,000. Oops, see that, guys? Once our observation hockey was out we just died immediately anyways you can also dodge the meteors by jumping i don't know guys uh if it just glitched or i'm gonna show it to you guys wait for it there you go see that guys no damage right just jumping really high maybe the impact of the meteors will just cause the damage again i tried it and we got damage see <laughs> but we don't we didn't jump on that uh, instance there you go boom okay so our goal here is to reach level 1000 guys you can also grind the zombies if you want at 950 that will be faster i think here are the stats mill defense 400 blocks roots 2200 next up guys snow mountain and the only one that we're gonna defeat here is the snow troopers guys you can also buy the superhuman fight style in this area so make sure to have the requirements just in case you want it Okay, there you go. Actually, they're not hard to defeat. Comparing it to the other mob here, guys, they're so far apart and they can damage you even with observation hockey. So yeah, that's not good. They can cancel it, by the way. Also, I'll be frank, there are no other good mobs to grind in the hot and cold area. So we're gonna stay here. Okay, next stop is level 1150. The boss in that island is Smoke Admiral. Here are the stats, 425. Melee defense 475 blocks fruits max. So guys, we've already reached max on blocks fruits. You can expect max damage now. Oh, we need more mastery. Anyways, the boss here, Smoke Admiral. Guys, if you don't know how to server hop here, uh, I don't know. It's really hard to grind. You can stay at the Snow Troopers again if you cannot server hop here. How about the other mobs game room, guys? Aside from they're far away, they have skills that can damage you. So it will really be hard. It won't, grinding won't be efficient unless you grind this mob here. Okay? I hope that's clear, guys. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 1250. There you go. Let's check our stats first. There you go, melee. 5 to 5, defense 6, 7, 5, max, blocks fruit. Okay. So next up is the hunted. Oh, sorry, sorry. Cursed ship. <laughs> hunted castle. I'm supposed to say hunted castle. But yeah, it's the cursed ship. So guys, again, there are lots of mobs here, but the only efficient mob to grind is the ship deckhands. How about the ship stewards gamer now? Guys, uh, actually it's good, but the spawn time of the mobs is really slow. So guys, I think you will already finish two quests here with the deckhands instead of just finishing one on the ship stewards, okay? So I suggest you stay here. Also, we're gonna skip almost all, actually all the mobs here and grind until level 1350. So guys, as you can see, we've been skipping lots of mobs and that is really fine, guys. The experience is not that far away from each other and the time that you will finish every quest that I'm showing you will be a lot faster, okay? So we are here for efficiency, comparing it to following the uh, order of the mobs given to us by the developers, okay? So there you go, 1350, the stats. 
So melee 550, defense 950, all actually it's already a max blast fruit. So I think I will be stopping. I will stop on like updating you on the stats soon. Next up, Ice Castle guys. So we have three mobs here. We're gonna focus on only two. And guys, take note, we're not gonna grind on the final mob, or I mean the final island, the Skull Island, because again, uh, aside from us not having a Logia Fruit, guys, if you're Logia Fruit, you can grind on the first mob there, but if you're not, it's really hard. I'm telling you, those are strong mobs out there, especially the second mob, and the boss, it's hard to grind to because of his own CBs. So guys, we're gonna grind here. Also, I suggest on you focusing on mastering the skills. Anyways, we're gonna unlock the Awakened Ice Admiral quest. We're gonna focus on that one and reach 1,500 in this map. Okay, so can we defeat it one one? Yes, we're strong enough and we, we are tanky enough to tank his damage. As you can see, there you go. Guys, uh, I suggest you master the Stampede. I was able to master it uh, at third C, yeah. Yes, you can F skill any mob here without getting hit. Just make sure to angle it properly <laughs> go so using m1 the good thing with this area is that you can hit him with all your skills and he won't go that far anyways core factory check this out guys we tried defeating it once and we got a can you guess yes gravity fruit <laughs> you want gravity fruit guys comment it in the comment section so we're gonna get here until 1500 before leaving this area make sure to finish this one quest and free the prisoners also guys, you are uh, needed or you are required to defeat Indra too. Actually not defeat, just damage him half HP and that's it. We can now go to the third C. Guys, congrats! We are almost done here. Actually not, lots of leveling to do. And we're gonna start with the Pirate Millionaires. So guys, again listen, we've been skipping lots of mobs right? To defeat the boss directly. Here we're gonna skip almost all mobs until the boss again so we're gonna focus here pirate millionaires gamer now how about the pistol billionaires guys wait till you get hit by the whirlwind or the tornado and you won't be moving even with observation hockey so i'm telling you just focus here until 1675 there you go also this is the last time that i will be showing you the stats <laughs> because again we've already maxed out our blocks fruit there you go melee 1000 defense 1475 so it really depends on you on what stat that you want to like put on so i suggest defense so guys next up hydra island our target here is the island empress only so guys again i told you if you can master the f skill that would be really great check that out guys but at this point i haven't mastered it yet check it out she's kind of near so she will be hitting me but check the damage guys 30 40k oh 45 47 see that guys Forty-seven thousand on just one skill and then you can hit her again. So guys, again, make sure to master this stampede to have more fun with this fruit. Also, I am training or grinding in the public server, so make sure to look out for bounty hunters. Again, guys, this is the third C. Everyone wants to kill you. Next up is the great tree. Again, only boss, Kilo Admiral. There you go. Again, guys, F skills really helpful, so make sure to master that. Also, this... Uh, Boss has no aerial attacks, so if you can attack him via aerial attacks, go for it. But yeah, since we're using Stampede, <laughs> we don't have much of that. If you really ma want to maximize your damage, use all your skills. Anyway guys, this area is enclosed, so guys, even if you hit him with your skills that has knocked back, it's okay. Okay, so 1800 next up is the Floating Turtle. So here we have lots of mobs, but we're gonna focus on the Fishman Captain only. We're not gonna defeat the boss here. Also guys, I forgot to show you, you can also grind the forest pirates here. Okay, so guys, keep on grinding here. There, uh, After this, I think we only have two good mobs to grind. Don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. There you go. So we're gonna grind here until level 1875. But guys, also you can do elite hunter quest to make uh, things more exciting. <laughs> so let's try it once. DeAndre, the user of the Awakened Magma Fruit. There you go. We're gonna defeat him. Check that out, guys. We can tank his damage. There you go. Not bad. Anyways, grind here until 1,975. Again, next stop, the Haunted Castle, guys. Here you can grind the only mob that is good, Reborn Skeletons. You can get bones from this mob, so you can buy your own 2 times XP, alright, to make things faster. There you go. 
Again, we're gonna skip. Actually, you can grind the uh, the living skeletons here. But yeah, guys, it's hard because it has like a uh, hacky and uh, flash step, so they can easily damage you, which is not good, guys. <laughs> Again, we focus on the blocks foot stat. Target level here is 2,075 and I hope that you got lots of bones so you can buy or maybe more luck so that you can get 2 times experience. Okay, so at 2,075, next stop, Sea of Treats. Guys, the last, final, best mob that you can grind on is the Peanut Scouts. Why? Guys, this spawn really fast. Comparing it to all the uh, succeeding mobs after this, it's really hard to grind. Not because they're hard to defeat, they're easy to defeat, everyone's easy to defeat, but they spawn really slow, which makes your efficiency really low. So guys, if you're gonna ask me, guys, believe me, grind here until max, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you other ways to grind faster, okay? So you can also grind here at 2200, the cookie crafters, there you go. But again, guys, the spawn time is really slow, I'm, I'm sad to say, guys. Gamer now, there are lots of mobs, new mobs, etc. But you're telling us not to grind there. Don't worry, guys. There's an alternative. Anyways, grinding up until 2,300, right? There is another choice here. Don't think of the uh, level or the uh, spawn time of the mobs. Just think of getting an item. From the Cocoa Warriors, anyone here in this island, you can get the Conjured Cocoa, which is required for you to awaken or unlock Doking, right? So guys, as you can see, uh, at this last parts of the video, I used two times experience because I really want to finish this. See that guys, Conjured Coco, you need that in order to make, uh, what do you call this, Candy Chalice. Okay, so that's also a good way to think of it as a grinding. But guys, at this level, just join Expeditions, guys. There are lots of sea beasts here. Also, you can be fighting terror sharks in order to unlock other items such as the, what do you call this, uh, Shark Anchor, etc. Also, you will enjoy it. Me, personally, I really want to play now and finish this video up. Okay, so new I new island, Piki Outpost. There are, I think, four new mobs here. Guys, again, sadly, I don't know if the developers are challenging us, but yeah, it's kind of hard here. Why? Because as you can see, the terrain, there are lots of uh, areas wherein they can be stuck, etc. Which is not good for our fruit because, again, this fruit has lots of knockback. There you go. We have the Sunkissed Warriors. Again, here, check that out. But again, guys, uh, yeah, I think that's good. More challenge for us, better, right? But again, I will be repeating it. Make sure to enjoy and just join your friends on an expedition. I I'm telling you guys, you won't notice it that you will be reaching max level, okay? Anyways, last one level, and we are fighting the Isle Champions, okay? So again, guys, I think that's it for this video. That is level 1 to max using the newest fruit, Mammoth Fruit. So Gamer Gnome, are you going to be doing more Noob to Pro videos? Yes, you have lots of new swords and some fruits, like for example, the Rocket Fruit. Anyways, again, guys, I hope that you watch this video and enjoy. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Gnome, and Gamer Gnome out.